Hi boys and girls, we are gonna do a craft this morning. This is called a tape resist uh, cross. It's similar to Miss Eden's cross that she made, only you're kind of doing it backwards. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna need is some masking tape and some paper. Uh, a thicker paper works a little bit better, but you can use regular paper too. And then you're also gonna need something to color with. So I like to use um, like watercolors or you can use something like chalk pastels are an option. Um, any of those would be fine. Crayons would also work or markers, um, but something that goes kind that kind of spreads is gonna be a little bit easier. So let's get started. All right, I've got my paper here. So first thing I'm gonna do is make a cross. And like Miss Eden explained, it's kind of like two long rectangles. They're going to be skinny rectangles if you're using masking tape. And you could actually make any shape with this, but for this video, I'm just going to do a cross. You could do a tomb. You could do three crosses. There's all, all kinds of things you could do. And then I'm going to take... my watercolors and I'm just going to paint. And you can kind of paint as many colors or as few colors as you want. You can make them as bright as you want. You could also do an egg if you're doing Easter eggs. You could do the shape of an egg. You could use painter's tape if you don't have masking tape. I don't think scotch tape would work quite as well. And so you're gonna just keep painting. I like to use the watercolors because I feel like they spread really well. but you could also use regular paint. That would be another option. And you wanna make sure you get all the way around the tape mark. You can go as far as you want. You can keep going all the way to the edge of the paper. When you're done with these, we love to see how you made this project your own a lot of fun. Hope that you guys are all enjoying getting some extra craft time at home right now. Holy Week is a great time to be doing crafts. There's a lot of really fun Easter crafts you can do. I'm getting close to being done here. I'm gonna see how far I want it to go. You could also do words. That's another way you could do your name or you could do um, Jesus or he is risen. This would be other really good, It'd be a little bit harder with tape, but it's good letter practice skills too. All right, how's it look? So then when I'm done, probably gonna wanna let it dry for just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take mine off to show you how it looks for the video, but you're gonna go ahead and pull it very carefully, pull the tape off. This is why thicker paper works a little better, especially for watercolor. But the tape comes off a little bit easier too. And there we go. So you've got a really cool um, watercolor picture with your cross then in the foreground. And like I said, you can use um, any other kind of coloring thing that you want, or you can use the masking tape to make different designs. I just wanted to do a cross for today's video. And uh, one of my boys has been working on a 
cross with chalk pastels. So I'm going to show you what that looks like too. There you go. So here's another version. He used chalk pastels and he did the cross in the middle and that turned out really well also. So we hope you have a lot of fun with this. Um, we are looking forward to seeing what you did. So if you have your do this, have your parents take a picture and post it onto uh, the Facebook page. Happy Easter, everybody. With the chalk pastels, though, <clears throat> if, like, you might want to laminate it or something because it might smear. Yeah, he brings up a good point. So chalk pastels, when you're using yeah. them, sometimes they smear after you're done. So you can either laminate it or stick it in a plastic sleeve to kind of protect it. You can also brush off the extra um, pastel shavings when you're done too. All right, have a great day, everybody.